Okay, obviously we're going to be doing some fractions in this video. So we got this situation right here. And uh, somebody out there might be like thinking, this is an absurd math problem. We would never really need to figure something out like this. This this, uh, this YouTube math guy, he's just trying to make something up, uh, some crazy problem just to make my head hurt. No, uh, in fact, you will run into these type of situations uh, in mathematics and in science. When you're plugging in different formulas, physics and uh, whatever, you can come into and in, uh, scenarios where you're dealing with a lot of um, uh, what we call complex fractions, and they can get extra complicated like this. So uh, indeed, this is something that you could very well uh, run into. So if you're good at fractions, all right, this should be no problem. You should be like, hmm, all right, yeah, I can take this uh, problem on and dispatch with it, no problem. So if that's the case, you know, go ahead and take the challenge, pause the video, and I would say give yourself about, mm, I would say one to two minutes, okay, would be a good amount of time, good for, you know, it's gonna take you more than uh, 30 seconds because you wanna do this accurately, step by step, but I would say eh, maybe like more two minutes, a couple minutes at most, you should be able to knock this out. Now, obviously, I don't want you to use your calculator. I don't want you to turn these into decimals. That's like the worst thing you can do. Uh, just, you know, basic good old fashioned arithmetic and see what, uh, see what you can come up with. So I'm gonna walk through this problem step by step and then we'll compare answers and we'll see how well you really do know fractions, okay? All right, so we're gonna get to this problem just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here in about a week uh, so I'm very excited about that because I love teaching advanced math, but I also like teaching the basic stuff as well. And all depending on where you're at in your life, this could be advanced, right? This is, you know, requires a good amount of math skills to be able to handle this. So you'll see that in a second. But I also do a lot of courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, uh, Accuplacer, Alex, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam like the TEAS. All those exams and many others have a good amount of math on them. Okay, so wherever you're going in life, you, you're, you're very well going to be running into math. Uh, so I can help you prepare for these exams and many others. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. Now, if I don't have your exam, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program uh, that obviously help those of you just having a tough time in your math courses. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to be great in mathematics, then you gotta be taking great math notes over decades of teaching math. Uh, believe me, if I found a shortcut uh, where you can get out of taking notes, well, there isn't, all right? So over decades of teaching math, it's apparent to me those students who take excellent math notes almost do excellent in their terms of the grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who like to, uh, you know, uh, check out their cell phone, social media, uh, maybe do homework for another class, or maybe even, you know, catch up with their best friends in class. Listen, I get it. I was a student once, uh, but I used to get these kind of grades as well, okay? So if you want to do excellent in math, you got to be focused every single day, you know, paying attention to your teacher and doing the hard work, all right? There is no shortcuts, unfortunately. Uh, if there is, you know, I would like to learn them, but I'm beyond all those school days now I teach. Uh, but anyways, in the meantime, as you're working on your math notes, you can use my math notes to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so here is the problem. No calculators. Give yourself a couple minutes if you want to go ahead and take on this challenge and just see how good you are at fractions. Now, uh, let's quickly just talk about what kind of uh, fractions, you know, what we're dealing with. So uh, just a quick, quick review. So let's take some numbers here and just want to get some terms and definitions down. Something that I think is uh, useful. All right, so what type of fraction is this, okay? Well, this is what we call a proper fraction because the denominator, 
Okay, this little number down here is bigger than the numerator. So this is a proper fraction. So what kind of fraction uh, is this? Well, this is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than uh, the denominator. And then this guy right here is called a mixed number fraction. So just a little basic fraction terminology. Now we could take these guys and, and do all kinds of uh, operations with this. So like I can go one half, uh, divided by three halves, and then you know you should know how to handle that sit, uh, situation before you take on this problem. But if you notice right here, all these numerators and denominators are just one particular value, right? So you're like, that's eh, no big deal. But when we start um, having numerators and denominators that are in fact fractions themselves, something like this, these guys like this, these are called complex uh, fractions, complex fractions. So you know, they do uh, pop up uh, from time to time, okay? It's not one of these things that are like, oh, yeah, you're just trying to make this stuff extra hard. Just give me these kind of fractions. Well, unfortunately, I can't because these things pop up. You're going to have to know how to deal with this, okay? And uh, so that's what this problem is going to be uh, kind of driving at. And I'm not going to walk through, I am going to walk through the steps of the solution to this problem. But if you're struggling anyways, just make sure you understand basic fractions, okay? Because oftentimes uh, students, um, they don't understand as well as they think they do, right? And I've been doing this for, for years and years and years, and students are like, yeah, yeah, I know that, I know that. Matter of fact, that's one of my, the term I've probably heard the most, I know that, I know that. Uh, and then when students like give me the wrong answer, but they always tell me, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that. Well, listen, if you know that, then, then you know, you gotta, you gotta do it. Give me the right answer. So if you know this, if you're like, yeah, I know how to do this, then then go ahead and do it. Okay, give me the precise, exact, right answer. But again, if you're going to struggle, if you end up uh, having some problems with this, go back and just start with this stuff, right? Then work your way up uh, to complex fractions. But let's get to it. I'm going to walk you through it one step at a time. So uh, we just got to whittle this problem down. So we got this uh, numerator, which is pretty easy, but our denominator is complicated. So we got uh, one plus this stuff. Okay, we're gonna uh, add these together. Then I can get a simplified denominator. So let's just focus in on this problem. It's like a problem within a problem within a problem. And uh, even more uh, specifically for this, well, let's kind of circle this. For this problem, I have to start right here, okay? So I gotta figure this out to figure this out so I can figure out the whole denominator and then I can tie it all in together, okay? All right, so let's get to it. So I got one over one plus, I'm just rewriting this, one over, now notice one plus four fifths I have here, uh, or sorry, one plus one fourth, excuse me, I have as four fifths. So one uh, is the same thing as what? Four over four, right? Okay, anytime you're adding fractions like this and you have a one, just turn this fraction uh, over the same denominator as this. So four over four, four divided by four is just one. So I can write one as four over four. This is all basic fraction stuff. If you don't understand this, then this problem is uh, definitely uh, beyond uh, you know what you wanna be dealing with right now. So uh, four over four plus one over four is, I add the numerators, right? Five over four, okay? Now I'm just doing this basic, basic review. Again, if you're like, oh yeah, I think that's the case. If you're struggling with this concept right here, then this video is not for you, okay? Go take a look at some of my other fraction video videos in my uh, pre-algebra playlist and work your way up to this. But if you're like, yeah, yeah, I got that, Mr. YouTube man, um, you know, keep going. Uh, don't bore me by, you know, listen, I can try to help everybody here, right? Okay, so, uh, so that's the first step. Now we got this denominator. Now let's continue to clean this thing up one step at a time. All right, so we got one over one plus one divided by uh, five over four. So what do I have to do now? Well, I gotta figure out this, okay? So what does this mean? Well, let's interpret this, okay? This right here is one, all right? And this uh, fracture bar is divided by, okay? This is one divided by five over four, all right? So this thing right here, equates to this expression, one divided by five over four, because this, I can't do anything with this. I need to simplify this, so I gotta look at it this way. One divided by five over four, of course, I know you, how to, you know how to divide fractions. One times, what What do I do here? Five over four, I have to flip, okay? 
I have to find a reciprocal of this fraction. Again, if you're having trouble uh, with any of these basic fraction operations, you know, this video is not for you. It's just going to, get, uh, going to confuse you. Go back to my pre-algebra playlist and truly master fractions. All right, so one times four fifths is four fifths. Okay, so all of this, I got this down to four fifths. So I'm feeling pretty good now. So let's check out where I'm at. Okay, uh, much better than the original problem. So now I got one over one plus four fifths. All right, pretty cool. So let's continue on and work on that part now. So I got to figure out what one plus four fifths again. Well, I just told you that we could just, uh, here we have this one, we're adding to four fifths. I just told you I can always turn this into what? I'm, well, I need a denominator of five, so five over five plus four fifths, that's the same thing as one, plus four fifths is what? Well, I need to add the numerators, so five and four, that's nine, so this is nine fifths, okay? Again, if you're like mm, a little bit confused about that, then this video is not for you. All right, but if you're with me so far, then that's excellent. And I got one divided by nine fifths. Now we're gonna finish up. One divided by nine fifths is the same thing as one divided by nine fifths or one over. Let's go look at this again. Again, I have to interpret this one over nine fifths or one divided by nine fifths is one times, I flipped that fraction right here. So that's gonna be five over nine. So when I multiply across, I get five ninths. Okay, so how did you do, all right? Did you get this correct? Well, if you got that correct, I would have to just in turn give you a smiley face with a 1986, yeah, that was a good year. Well, maybe let's make the 1985 uh, Mohawk with extra hairspray. Uh, we used a lot of hairspray back in the 1980s. I'm pretty sure uh, our hair was uh, pretty flammable, fairly dangerous, I would imagine. Anyways, but that's what you've got, all right? With an A+, plus, a 100%, and uh, let's throw in like three stars. This wasn't the like, hardest problems, but yeah, I would say that you pretty much uh, impressed me in terms of your fraction skills. Matter of fact, you, if you were in my uh, math class, I'd just say, you know what, just take the textbook, go home, I'll see you next year. And uh, I'm thinking, man, What's that person doing? Maybe they're watching that guy on YouTube. Who knows? But anyways, listen, good job with this uh, complex fractions because uh, indeed you're going to run into them, right? This is not just some made up problem like, okay, yeah, uh, you're just, you know, making up a crazy problem. No, you run into complex fractions when you're figuring things out in, in mathematics and science and practical applications. You're, you're, you're going to have to know how to deal with them. But Again, you can't deal with this until you get your basic fraction skills down. So uh, a couple things there, if you're at that basic level, uh, one, check out all the videos in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel, or maybe just uh, sign up for my pre-algebra course where I have, a, uh, I have a full chapter on fractions. Okay, so if this video was enjoyable in some small degree, please consider smashing that like button. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I have been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus uh, math videos, basic to advanced math. Uh, so my goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. That's what I'm always trying to do, right? Nobody should be struggling in math if you're doing your part, right? Remember, you got to do your part. You just, you're not going to learn this stuff by just sitting around and watching someone do math. You got to take notes. You got to really work at it you know, and talk to your math teacher. But if you're doing those things, you should do very well in mathematics. But, um, you know, if I can help you out along the way with extra help, then that is my passion. Uh, but again, remember, uh, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.